It took years for Michelle to ask for help. For a long time, she just kept turning the volume higher on her TV and asking people to repeat things. Although she has now been officially diagnosed with hearing loss, at times it affects her work and social life, making her depressed. Right now, she has a cough that's lasted a few weeks, and an internet search suggested she visit her GP. She made her appointment over the phone, which wasn't easy. At the GP surgery, there's no visual display. Michelle's previously waited for a long time, having not heard her name. So she sits facing the receptionist and lip reads. The GP is not aware that Michelle has hearing difficulties and spends much of the consultation facing her screen. There is also a fan giving off background noise. The GP explains that the cough is viral and doesn't require antibiotics. But Michelle doesn't really hear her and is left wondering why she doesn't have a prescription. While most practices aren't like the one we've described, Michelle's experiences have been shared by many others. The best way to make your practice more hearing friendly is to ask for and respond to patient feedback. To imagine that you are hearing impaired and think what it would be like to book and attend an appointment. In a more hearing friendly world, she would have sought help for her hearing loss sooner. Her symptoms would have been recognised and diagnosed earlier, so that she could be referred to the kind of support that could make her work and social life easier. Notes in her records would have stated her preferred method of communication. There would have been a visual display screen so that she could watch as well as listen for her name and a hearing loop that could transmit clear speech directly to compatible hearing aids or implants. The GP and staff within the practice would have undergone deaf awareness training. Seeing on-screen prompts stating hearing impairment, the doctor would have faced her directly, switched off her fan and screened for the psychosocial impact of her hearing loss in terms of loneliness and depression. All of these things are also happening in many GP practices, but they aren't happening everywhere. In order to help, the Royal College of GPs has created a toolkit with useful advice and guidance, as well as a charter for you to sign up to, so that you can demonstrate your practice's commitment to being hearing friendly. We want to help reduce variation amongst practices help them comply with the Accessible Information Standard and Equality Act and for patients to have less stressful, more pleasant and more useful interactions with their GP.